Hello everyone, my name is Jocelyn Keller and today I'm presenting my persuasive speech, Why You Should Not Procrastinate. Psychologists say that procrastinators are made by their environment and not born. 95% of the population is prone to procrastination, but that's separate from the 20% of the population that's prone to chronic procrastination. Chronic procrastination can be a disorder only treatable by cognitive behavioral therapy. It's brought on by poor self-regulation. This can be fostered in authoritarian, authoritarian families where the parents overregulate the children and the children therefore have a poor sense of self-regulation. Doctors identify three main types of procrastination and procrastinators here listed below. One, the thrill seekers who wait until the last minute to get to the euphoric rush of the stress. Avoiders who are typically concerned with what other people think of them and avoid due to fear of the failure or even success. And lastly, decisional procrastinators who avoid making a choice because they feel as if it alleviates the responsibility of whatever the outcome may be. Studies have found that procrastination also has effects on your health. There's a correlation between procrastination and decreased general health. The effects may include lowered immune system, which means more susceptibility to cold specifically, susceptibility to obesity, gastrointestinal problems, insomnia due to procrastination of sleep, which can even then lead to sleep deprivation, which can lead to heart problems and more obesity. And poor mental and emotional health as well. People who procrastinate can feel ashamed of their procrastination and guilty about it. That can lead to low self-esteem, self-loathing, anxiety, depression, and it just propagates the cycle of procrastination. People who procrastinate also have higher levels of muscle tension, of migraines. They're more prone to do drugs because the poor impulse control and self-regulation go hand in hand with drug abuse. And procrastinators in general have poor health because they oftentimes will procrastinate going to the doctor. Procrastination also has a heavy stress on relationships whether it be professional, professional relationships like coworkers, team members, or business partners. If you procrastinate your task, they will lose faith in your ability to do the task. You could jeopardize your position and you could even prevent yourself from, from ever rising up the ladder again, making you miss opportunities. Peer relationships, we could be students, project partners, extracurricular groups, if you procrastinate the completion of your share of work and lead to the undue stress of all your teammates, then not only will they be unduly stressed, but then you will too. And that may even ruin a friendship or acquaintanceship. And personal relationships, of course, are highly affected by procrastination. In a relationship, you have to give 100% and 100%. And if you procrastinate your 100%, things might not go well. Avoiding the responsibility of a task can cause the burden of undue stress for you and your partner and because they have to deal with what you don't do. And of course, procrastination leads to poor financial decisions and lots of other financial issues. Procrastination of financial issues can lead to all of the following. Delaying investment, which means missed opportunities in capital. Uh, financial indiscipline, which is caused by procrastination of budgeting. That can bankrupt you. Uh, procrastinators often have no emergency fund due to never getting around to creating an emergency fund. They oftentimes delay crucial decisions, which means they have to rush to make the decision which causes poor decisions and causes you to lose capital. They have extra fines and fees for procrastinating on payments and bills like your taxes, loan payments, bills, and of course procrastination of estate planning like having no will, trust, or power of attorney. 
And lastly, the quality of work is most definitely affected by procrastination. Procrastinators sometimes claim to say that the stress of procrastination causes them to have more of a creative reaction to the work they have to do, but that's simply not true. Any creativity displayed is just a fraction of what could have been achieved had they not procrastinated. Studies show that procrastinators take longer, they make more mistakes, and they believe themselves to be doing better than they actually are at activities. Their work is often unpolished and unedited, and their quality is at times lowered to such a shameful extent that it promotes low self-esteem, which in turn could promote, again, the cycle of procrastination. And in conclusion, that is why I think you should not procrastinate.